So today we're going to do an, a little quick video of understanding what ZK Rollup and ZK Snarks are. I think it's something very interesting that not a lot of people are talking about, and I got really confused at first because ZK Snarks and ZK Rollups are completely different things. So we're going to do a little whiteboard session today to go through that, those two different terms, and have a quick understanding of what they are and what the differences are. So we're going to start off with what is ZK Rollup? That's the theme of today. And before we go and understand what ZK Rollup is, we have to understand what are the different kind of ZK protocols are there in place. So what is ZK? We always start with this thing called ZKP. And what is ZKP? ZKP means zero knowledge proof. And this is something that is in cryptography and has been in place since the, eight, the 1980s. So it's, it has nothing really got to do with blockchain, it's just a form of cryptography that is very important and then we use them in different ways. So this is something that exists, it's called ZKP. Now, in ZKP or Zero Knowledge, there are two applications of them in the crypto space. One is called ZK Snarks and one is called ZK Rollups. And these two have served very different functions. The main function of ZK Snark is privacy. So you have this like your Zcoin, your Zcash, these, these privacy coins, they use this protocol, this cryptography called ZK Snarks. So it's zero knowledge proof, uh, one, of the, one of the terms. There is a long, Snarks is an acronym and it means something else. I don't remember the name. ZK Rollups, however, is for a different thing. It's for scalability. So you want, you want the transactions to scale up, you want the layer one solutions to scale up. So ZK Snarks is usually used in the layer one solution, whereas ZK Rollups is used in layer two solutions. What is layer one and what is layer two? What are the differences and what are the similarities? Layer one versus layer two. Let's do a quick understanding of what they are. Layer one is really the base layer. And layer two is the scalability layer. And if we want to think of, of the analogy of roads, then layer one will be your regular road, where you have a car going from destination A to destination B on a regular road. Scalability is where you have a road here, and then you have like a highway. So cars can go on the highway, and cars can go on the road. So this is the, the road here, is your layer one solution and your highway is your layer two solution. Why? It basically allows more cars to go over than just your regular roads because your regular roads could have you know stuff like your traffic lights and stuff like that. So it's not very efficient and if you want scalability we go to layer two for scalability. So in general this is the difference between layer one and layer two. So if you want if you want to apply ZK snarks and ZK rollups, ZK snarks is basically during this layer one road, road base layer you have privacy in there. So we have privacy in here. And where we have the highway, we have scalability. We have scalability here, which is your ZK rollups. So these are the two different applications of zero knowledge proof in layer one versus layer two solution. And that's the main difference. Now I want to dive a little bit deeper into understanding what the hell is ZK rollups. To give you an analogy and a very easy way to understand what ZK rollups are, let's go back to the example of roads and cars. So we have these two different states in transactions, right? So we're going to look at base layer. We have state one, in which transactions are approved, transactions are verified and validated. Then we have state two, where we have new transactions being validated, being verified and it will go into state two. So new transaction, state one is existing transactions, and then state two is the second state where new transactions are being approved. So how do we get from state one to state two? Very simple, we have each, each road leading there. So we, in each road, you have a car to drive, and in each car, it has this little packets that they are sending, right? So let's say this one will be your, if you're making a transaction on Uniswap, this makes a transaction on Compound, this makes a transaction on Aave, and then you have to pay a little transaction fees to go into state two. So 
you get here, you get verified, and then you go to state two. And this is this is the existing layer one solution. And what what can be an improvement to the system? Cars are inefficient, right? If I want to go from point A to point B, yes, I can drive, but I can also do something new. And I can do this thing called flying, taking a plane. So what I could do is to take a plane, and, and this plane can be carrying all these different passengers, so they don't clog up the they don't clog up the roads, and I just have to send one transaction over to state two. So I have to pay maybe you know two dollar signs instead of one dollar sign to go from state one to state two. And instead of having one passenger inside here, instead of having one passenger in each car, what I'm doing with the plane is to have a lot of different passengers. And now it becomes, because I'm only paying a fixed fee of two dollar signs instead of a dollar sign each, now this two dollar sign can be divided by all the passengers in the car, in the, on the plane, so it becomes cheaper. And so this, this is basically the mechanism of scalability. And this black part that we, we see over here, this is your layer one. Layer one protocol. And this, this red plane, this is your layer two protocol. Okay? And this is just the, the understanding of how these systems work. And now, where does ZK Rollup come, come in? It comes in in this aspect. So, the technology to aggregate these transactions to a plane and allow the plane to be sending the transactions to state two. This part, so the tech application, is called ZK Rollups. Okay? So, in, in general, that's, what, that's how we can do scalability. We use ZK Rollups, we aggregate all this little information, then we transfer to state two. So how does that look like in a smart contract application? So same, we have, we have your, your package here being approved. So let's say this is, this is block one. And now we will have to go to, we're going to block two after that. Because transactions are being approved, you want to go to block two. And instead of having small little transactions going up, what you could do is there's a third party here, and we could use um, layer. We can call it layer two. So basically, all the transactions on block one go to layer two. It aggregates all the transactions. Then it will populate block two. It's the same concept. Instead of little cars going from block one to block two, they go to layer two, and then they go to layer then, and then layer two will collect all the information and propagate in block two. Now, where is you're thinking, where is the value add coming from? Other than making it cheaper, other than making, you know, instead of doing transactions individually, you can do, you can aggregate all the transactions, so the transactions is a bit cheaper. But what are the other value add in the system? Now, the cool thing is, this layer 2 actually does, it's actually off-chain. So, it does computation off-chain. That means, within layer 2 itself, you know, this is like a, an invisible line that cuts through here. So within layer 2 itself, you can have plenty of transactions for free. The only time you have to pay is because you are populating and updating these blocks. And you have to pay because these blocks are done by validators, are done by miners, you have to reward them for their computation and their hard work, so you have to pay for them. But if you exist only on the layer 2, you make a transactions on layer 2, then the transactions within layer 2 is free. So it could be something like you have person 1, uh, person A, and person B, both existing on layer 2. I'm sending money to you, you're sending money to me, we're sending money to each other for whatever reasons, and then at the end, end of the month, we consolidate all of these, and then we update it in block 2. We update it in one of the blocks on the main chain. So that's how layer 2 works. And this aggregating, so the, the whole idea of aggregating is this ZK rollups. So that's that's how ZK rollups. How, that's how ZK, ZK rollups is applied in this entire system. And this layer two is basically done off chain. 
Now, who are the projects and what are the projects involved that are in the space of layer 2 scalability? Let's talk about technology first. So the first one is using ZK rollups because what they do is to aggregate, okay? Aggregate transactions. And companies doing this will be Loopring. You have Plasma Chain. You have ZK Sync. Then you have to this is this is layer layer two tech. So the first one is ZK rollups, and the second one that we are looking at is called sharding. So sharding, instead of aggregating transactions, we are we're kind of like um, distributing transactions. That means for if I have a mug and I want to keep this this information data on the blocks, what I'm doing now is to you know split them up into into different parts of the mug. It says split them up into six pieces, the, and I, I give them to six different people. So no one person can, can get all the full information, but me, as a person, as a user who owns the mug, I can get, I can call back all these pieces together and then get the mug. So this is basically shorting, and the example of using this is um, Lightning Network. Lightning Network. So these are basically the various solutions for scalability. And it's about ZK Rollup is a way to aggregate, aggregate transactions off-chain and then populate, then bring the information on-chain once things are done. One other thing that I want to highlight is the technology behind all this. So we talk about off-chain computation and we talk about everything is being done off-chain. One of the biggest risks is how do you verify my transaction is true? Because everything, everything is on-chain, right? So what is the technology behind verification? Technology behind you know, verification, behind accounting? Accounting of tokens. And number three is transactions. So what is the tech behind all of these? The tech behind all of these is this thing called Merkle Tree. Merkle tree is also something that's not super new. It's already in the data science or computer science world. We're just applying them to be collecting and aggregating and keeping track of all these information and transaction, transactions that are, that's going on in the blockchain base layer, base layer one and base layer two. So that's it for ZK rollups. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll be sure to reply to them soon. I hope that makes a lot more sense and I hope you have a better understanding of how this is being used. If you want to learn more about how this is being used in the debt layer or in the, the central bank digital currency layer or global payments layer, let me know and I can make a video on that. Till then, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.